On way back to exploring Pika Labs, let me show you how you can encrypt messages and even images in your videos. I've got a couple of examples here. Some are a little bit more hidden. For example, here the cityscape, there is a light inside, but you barely see it. Here's a parking lot and you can see it very clearly. Some videos, they don't work out well. For example, here the forest. The best results I've had so far is here at the beach with the text. Looks kind of nice. And here it says black hole. Let us go over the process. We need the encrypt command. We have two. Let's start with encrypt text. We'll put our message right here. We want to have beach displayed. So this is the message. Then prompt it like you would do for any video. Waves on the beach, overhead shot. And I add the parameter w minus w2 which is the weight of the message and size 75. If you click on plus two more, you can add a font. There are currently five to choose and also add an image that you could use for the video generation. Let us directly go to encrypt image. Instead of using a message, the message is now our image. So you can use a logo, for example. It doesn't really work with PNGs when the background is empty, at least in my tests. So you want to use a logo that has a background. It's black and white in my case. It's the Nike logo. So I use this JPEG. Prompt is once again the video prompt. In this case, we don't really need a size as it's given by our image, the logo. But I'll just copy paste this prompt and it should run. While it works, we'll check the documentation. So you can see it, two prompts, encrypt text and encrypt image. The W sets the weight of the text and size sets the text size of our message. And we have five fonts to choose from when we use encrypt text. Optional, we can use an image reference for the video generation, for the video theme. Almost exactly the same for a crypt image, but obviously you can't adjust the font or the size as there is no message. So here are our two videos, the beach text, encrypt text. And here is our encrypt image. It uses the Nike logo. Let us go over this again. And this time we use an image as a reference for our video generation. I use encrypt text first. I'll make it black. Because I want to use this universe, this black hole image as a reference that I've got here. Let me add moving stars. You can't keep the prompt empty, so you have to add something here. You can also use the parameters that you usually use for video adjustments, for example, the aspect ratio. Let me use W2. By the way, zero is lowest, two is highest for the message weight. Let us encrypt an image. We'll use our logo again. We'll prompt the same moving stars, AR60-9, a weight of two. We don't need a size. I click on plus one more, add an image, and this for video reference. i once again use this black hole universe. I confirm. The size for the text, I've used 80 in the first example. It goes from 50 to 100. 50 is lowest, 100 is highest, and 100 is also the default. So if we leave it out, it's going to be at the highest size currently possible in Pika Labs. And here are our results. This is the encrypt text. You can see black is visible quite well. And I have left out the font, so it picked modern by default. Up here for the beach, I've used sans serif. And our final results 
the logo down here with encrypt image, we can also see it. So this is currently what's available. Pretty sure PKLabs is going to expand this function. Sometimes it's a hit and miss, but when it works, the results look pretty cool. Check it out for yourself. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.